Hi, this is a short tutorial to show you how to prepare your assets for Engage. I'm going to show you how to set up the prefabs that will be integrated into Engage. The best part about it is you'll be able to see exactly how your objects will look in Engage and you can be sure that you'll get the results you want. As well as that, we'll be able to integrate your assets more quickly into the Engage platform and get them to you faster. I have an example file here that I'm going to show you how to set up. The object files that we can use are OBJ and FBX. Here is an example of an FBX, a dump truck. As you might be integrating multiple IFX into your project folder, it's best to separate them into separate folders. At the moment, I have a textures, a materials, and a dump truck object. I'm going to give it its own folder. So I'm going to create a folder and call it dump truck. And I'm going to add all the associated data in there. Now, we want to add our dependencies folder. The dependencies folder is the parent folder that all your data will be going into. Let's make a new folder here. And we're going to call it dependencies. And then the name of your group. So if you're a corporate client, it'll be the name of your corporate group. Or if you're a private client or a pro client, it'll be your own, the name of your account. So I'm going to put in my fictitious company, Global Corp. Then I'm going to take my dump truck folder and put it in there. So the next step is we need to set up the materials to work for Engage. Um, I'd like to point out that we're using Unity 2019-2-15-F1. This will update in future, but we'll let you know as soon as there are any changes. It's best to use this version of Unity, as you'll be sure you'll get the results that you want. If you're using a different version, there is a possibility that it may not turn out exactly as you desire. Okay, so I'll put my dump truck model into the scene. One thing to note is that your model needs to be zeroed. So it needs to have its position 0, 0, 0 on the origin and a regular scale of 1, 1, 1. If you don't have it correctly scaled, or if your object for whatever reason does not have these values, a simple way to solve it is to add an empty and give the empty the name that you want your object. So, so dump truck, for example, here, and then you can see I can set all the values to zero and simply parent the object underneath the empty. So now the top level of the object will have a properly zeroed value. In this case, our truck was absolutely fine, so we don't need to do that. But that's just in case that problem ever occurs to you. Okay, so let's have a look at the model here. The model has five materials on it, and we're going to set them up. Um, the kind of materials that we use in Engage, we use the standard Unity material. We do use some specialized materials in certain cases but you can consult our support staff if you need to know any further information about that. Okay, so I've prepared the materials. You can see on each of my materials here, I've added in the maps that I want. And uh, you can add any of the standard uh, materials and the standard maps that we used on the PC. On the Android, we build a separate version of the shader and it is somewhat cut down but it still contains the albedo and uh, other information that's there. Um, let's slot them now onto our um, FBX object. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can either add them to the object in the scene and we'll be saving them in our prefab, or you can go to the actual FBX file as I'm gonna here, and you can add them directly onto the FBX there. So I'm going to just drop my materials into the correct slots one, two, three, four, five, and apply them. And now you can see that the scene has been updated. Okay, now we, we're nearly onto the final step of preparation for our IFX. So all the data, all the FBX data, images, materials will stay inside the dependencies folder. And now we need a place to put our prefab. 
So I'm going to create a folder and we call it IFX and then uh, minus or dash and then the name of your group. So in this case, my group is Global Corp. And we keep that uh, lowercase. That's actually supposed to be lowercase as well. And then all we do is we take the object from the scene and we drop it into our IFX folder and we create an original prefab. So now, as you can see, your object's in here. And then the final step to export it and to send it to us, you simply select both folders and then go Assets, Export, Package, and then export all that data as a package. Thank you very much. If you have any questions at all, you can contact support and we'll help you getting your assets integrated. Thank you very much.